Bonjour la classe, c'est Madame Buol. Ça va? Ça va bien? Ou ça va mal? Ou ça va comme ci, comme ça? It's really lovely to be able to teach you today. I'm sorry that I can't be with you at the Minster School, but it's great to be able to use technology to be able to deliver your French lesson. Now today, what we're going to do is recap some of the vocabulary to do with house and home that we started to look at last term. Now, I'm going to share my screen with you in just a second. I'm going to start with um, la maison de Monet. And some of you may know that Monet was a very famous French artist. So I'm hoping that you will recognize um, this. And here we go. So Madame Duel is now sharing her screen. I'm just going to move me down there. So in today's lesson, our objective is to recap rooms in the house and to learn a little bit about the famous French artist, Monet. Now, Claude Monet, whose full name was Oscar Claude Monet, was born on November the 14th, le 14 novembre, 1840, 1840, in Paris, Paris, France. He died on the 5th of December, le 5 décembre, 1926, 1926, in Giverny. He was a French painter who was the initiator, leader, and unswerving advocate of the Impressionist style. You might have learned about Impressionism in your art lessons. At his home in Giverny, Monet created the water lily pond that served as inspiration for his last series of paintings, probably his most famous paintings. His popularity soared in the second half of the 20th century, when his works traveled the world in museum exhibitions that attracted record-breaking crowds and marketed popular commercial items featuring imagery from his art. Now, let's have a look at his house. So this is La Maison de Claude Monet à Giverny. C'est la Maison de Claude Monet à Giverny. C'est beau, hein? It's beautiful. Et voilà la maison. Et là, c'est la cuisine. Let me repeat after me. La cuisine. C'est bleu, hein? Et ça, c'est la salle à manger. La salle à manger. Do you remember manger means to eat? La salle à manger. Et la salle à manger, c'est jaune, hein? It's yellow. Et voilà le salon. Le salon est blanc et bleu. Et ça, c'est la chambre de Claude Monet. Il se couche dans sa chambre. Et ça, c'est le bureau ou l'atelier de Monet. C'est là où il peint. This is where he did some of his painting. Et ça, c'est la chambre d'Alice. La chambre d'Alice. Et là, ce sont les escaliers. Do you remember escalier, like escalade, to an escalator? What helps you to go up? It's the stairs, les escaliers. Et ça, c'est le jardin. Il y a beaucoup de jolies fleurs, lots of pretty flowers. Le jardin. Et ça, c'est l'étang avec son pont. The lake with its pretty bridge. Et le pont, c'est vert. The bridge is green. Et les nénuphars, les nénuphars. If you know anything about the work of Monet, you probably recognize these flowers. Et les nymphias, les nymphias. Et voilà Monet dans son jardin. This is Monet, the artist himself, in his garden, the photographe. Now then, how much can you remember? Let's see. Claude Monet, in full, Oscar Claude Monet, was born on November the 14th in 1840. Now, I've taken away the vowels. Can anybody remember where he was born? That's right, he was born in Paris, Paris. And he died on the 5th of December in 1926 at his home in Giverny. He was a French painter who was the initiator, leader, and unswerving advocate of the... Now, which style of painting? 
That's right, the Impressionist style. And can anyone tell me before we move on to looking at the photographs and the pictures of his home, whereabouts was the home of, of Monet? It was in Giverny. Excellent, bravo. Now, our first picture. We've got some missing vowels. Can anyone remember? So this was his house. And house in French is la maison. Bravo, la maison de Claude Monet. And what French town was Claude Monet's house in? Can you remember from our previous slide? It was in Giverny. Excellent, Giverny. La maison de Claude Monet à Giverny. C'est très beau, it's very beautiful. And the same word again, c'est la maison. Très bien, la maison. Now, what about his kitchen? Who can remember the word for kitchen in French? Say it out loud if you can. Très bien, la cuisine. La cuisine, excellent. Now, what about his dining room? Literally, the room for eating. La salle à manger. Excellent, la salle à manger. What a pretty room that is. And the living room. Comment dit on living room en français? C'est le salon. Excellent. Now, this is his bedroom. Can you remember the French word for bedroom? I think when we were learning this, we had the clue that when you go to stay in a hotel, sometimes the person who comes to clean your room is called the chambermaid. And that was our clue, la chambre. La chambre de Claude Monet. This is Claude Monet's bedroom. And this is where he did some of his paintings, his office or his um, workshop. How did we say office in French? Le, le bureau. Très bien. And this was Alice's bedroom. Can you remember how to say the bedroom of Alice? It was, think of the lady who comes to clean the bedrooms. La chambre d'Alice. Excellent. Now, in English, we have the word escalator, the device that we use often in a shop to go from one floor to the next. So this one is our way of getting up the stairs. It is les escaliers. Bravo, not an easy word to remember. Les escaliers. And what about the garden? A similar word to English, but pronounced very differently. Le jardin. Excellent. Le jardin. Avec beaucoup de jolies fleurs. Now then, can anyone remember the lake with its bridge? L'étang avec son pont. Bravo, l'étang avec son pont. Et le pont, c'est quelle couleur? What color is the bridge? C'est rouge? Non, Madame Pio, c'est pas rouge. C'est vert. Excellent. And can anyone remember the flowers? Les nénuphars, les nénuphars, bravo. And les nymphéas, les nymphéas, super. And the last picture before we move on, c'est Monet dans son jardin. Excellent, super. Now then. As part of your follow-on work, what I'd like you to do is to make a note and in Google Classroom, send me the answers to these questions. So I'd like to know, who was Monet? Just a sentence or two. Whereabouts in France is Giverny? How's your geography? Which rooms in the house did you recognize from this presentation? Can you list them in French and in English? Which rooms were missing? We looked at lots of different names for rooms in the house and places around the house before the holidays. Can you list any in French and English that were missing from the presentation? And next, I'd like to know, what do you think of Monet's house? Could you maybe give me an opinion word, or maybe two in French? It could be belle, meaning beautiful. It could be moche, meaning ugly. Grande, meaning big. Petite 
meaning small, like Madame Bureau, or pittoresque, meaning picturesque. Now, as part of today's lesson, I'm also going to share with you a link to some language learning games. And you're going to click on the link and have a go at the games, which are going to help you to recap some of the furniture vocab that we looked at at the end of last term. Now, if you look at this slide, you'll see that your prep for next week is listed. I'd like you to learn your rooms in the house and these 10 expressions in French for a test next Monday. So in pink in the box, you have got the French and the English. Dans ma chambre, in my bedroom. Do you remember we made our shoebox bedrooms? We cut up those um, Argos catalogues and we made our dream bedroom and we labeled it in French. So here is some of the key vocabulary from that activity. Now, I'm going to share a different screen in just a second. And I thought we might move on to um, recap with a song that we looked at before the holidays. Now I expect you to sing along. So let's have a little go at this and see just how much you can remember. Okay, are we ready? Listen, and this time, I know I can't hear you, but I'd like to think that you are singing along really loudly and easy. story to share with you which is called Belt Voyage. Now I think we've used the Belt stories before, I'm sure you'll recognize them from year two if not year three. Now the author of Belt, Gwen Brooks, has very kindly shared via YouTube her latest story which is all about how Belt is coping in lockdown. So I hope you'll enjoy this story and I hope using the pictures you'll be able to follow most of it in French. I hope you'll enjoy it. 
Better to succeed than to be in the maison. Ella, un petit chat qui aime la classe et pas le poisson. Viens, viens la voir. Viens lire son histoire. Viens la voir. Viens lire son histoire. Peut-être qu'une sortie elle habite une vieille maison. Elle a un petit chat qui aime la classe et pas le poisson. Perte, voyage. What the words mean in a word search based on the story can be found at www.bonjourbert.co.uk. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une sorcière. Qui est la sorcière? C'est Berthe. Elle s'appelle Berthe. Elle a un petit chat noir qui adore la glace. Berthe adore voyager, mais en ce moment, ce n'est pas possible. Berthe a une idée. Elle va dans sa chambre et prend un grand livre. Le livre s'appelle « Un tour du monde ». Berthe prend sa baguette magique et pouf Berthe entre dans le livre avec son chat. D'abord, Berthe va en Angleterre. Elle visite Londres. Elle boit un thé avec la reine. Puis, Berthe va en Égypte, où elle voit les pyramides qui sont grandes et pointues. Et elle monte un chameau qui est aussi grand et pointu. Berthe continue en Afrique, où elle voit des éléphants et des lions. Elle donne des feuilles à un éléphant. Berthe quitte l'Afrique et va avec son chat en Australie. En Australie, elle voit le grand pan et l'opéra de Sydney. Elle rencontre un kangourou qui vend des chapeaux. Berthe achète un chapeau. Enfin, Berthe visite l'Italie. Elle visite la ville de Venise et voyage en gondole, un type de bateau. Le soleil brille et il fait chaud. Berthe est très fatiguée. Oh, je suis très fatiguée, dit Berthe. Je veux mon lit. Plouf. Berthe est sur le lit dans sa chambre. Elle dort et elle ronfle. Quelle journée Quel voyage Bert escaped through a book. If you want to escape through a book, Bert the Witch Books are available from the Bonjour Bert website. Au revoir. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. Um, wasn't that fun? Now, for the rest of today's lesson, because we usually have a double, I'd like you to do those activities that I mentioned earlier. So firstly, I'd like you to go through the story of Money's house and I'd like you to answer the questions that I've set at the end of the practice exercise. After that, you're going to go onto the Edu Candy website and you're going to play the games that I've made for you in French and that will help you to remember some of the furniture items that we also looked at last term. 
And for the last part of today's lesson, as part of your prep for next week, so we'll have another French lesson tomorrow, Tuesday, I'd like you in a week's time to be able to know in French the different rooms in the house and some of the furniture items. I'm going to be testing you on those to make sure you know them for next week in a week's time. Okay, bon courage. Good luck with all of your work. It's been lovely seeing you, albeit virtually, and I look forward to receiving your work soon. Au revoir tout le monde. Au revoir.